Greetings YouTube viewer. Today I'm going to show you how to create voiceover in Reaper. And uh, this is a uh, pre or post cursor to my last video sequel to my last series where I was obviously sniffling too much for people and they didn't like it. So here we go. How to produce um, professional voiceover in Reaper 5 included. And we're just going to use stock plugins. I'm going to use a very uh, normal budget microphone, which is the Rode NT2A. You can get the NT1A, which is the same capsule. Uh, this only has a few different, uh, it has a few different functions in it, but you can do the same setup what I'm doing with just a USB microphone, say an AT2020 USB or a Samson CO1U. Doesn't really matter. What we're going for here is just how to create something in Reaper with stock plugins that sounds professional. I'm going to be using this microphone, which is a condenser microphone. That's not the one I'm talking into right now. I'm talking into this cardioid microphone. I mean, uh, dynamic. And uh, the difference is with this, you're going to hear a lot of room noise. So if you're going to use a, a condenser microphone, the reason I'm using it is because primarily that's what people buy when they're starting their studio setup. So um, I'm going to be using this microphone and I'm going to show you how to lessen that room sound, which we're going to get because we're just in the live space here. So let's start with setting up the audio. This is usually the first thing that people ask. Options, preferences, audio device. And this is where we select our audio device. If you have an USB interface, it would most likely come with an ASIO device. If you're on PC, if you're on Mac, you can use the core audio. So for me, I have a RME Fireface UFX. So it comes with its built-in Fireface driver. Now, if you have a AT2020 USB, that will have its own driver. Um, if not, if you're using say like a a headset microphone, you'll want to use ASIO for all. And there's a ton of YouTube videos out there using ASIO for all, so I'm not even going to bother covering that. You just go there, figure out which driver you want to pick, and then come back here. All right, so um, I'm already set up. I got Fireface USB. One thing you do want to check is that your inputs are the correct ones. So for this, I have 12 analog inputs. I'm actually just going to do 12 and 12, and then I'm going to press OK. Now, nothing happened. Of course, because we still need to start. So uh, the simple thing that I like about Reaper is that all you have to do to create a track is double click in this space here. <laughs> and then you have your beautiful new track. Uh, if we want to name the track, we double click in this little thing here and I'm going to call this awesome voiceover. All right, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to make an awesome voiceover. So you have no audio streaming through it right now. Everyone's like, what the heck? Nothing's happening. Uh, what you want to do is you want to select the input. Now that's at this little place here, but you can click on this little arrow here or in the box and yeah, they changed that since number four input mono, and then the input that your microphone is plugged into. If you have a USB microphone, there's usually only two options, pick either one. So I'm going to get you to troubleshoot a little bit on your own there. Now that we have it selected, we still don't hear anything. What we need to do is arm the track for recording. Okay. So we're going to do that right now. Now. You can see that I'm getting input. Wow. So stuff is happening. Congratulations. You have the stuff happening achievement unlocked. We're not actually going to hear this coming through the, the DAW yet um, because the record monitor monitoring isn't on. So we're going to click on record monitoring. So now, now you'll see that the road is on. So hello world. I am now on my condenser microphone. You can hear me and you can hear that there's uh, air coming through. Ugh. Okay. Maybe I didn't think this one through, but here we go. So this is the Rode microphone. Now I just put it close to this one so I could use the same pop filter, pop filter. If you don't have a pop filter, the reason why you want one is let's say the word pop pop. So if you're recording voiceover and you hear that sound, if you want to put something into a space using EQ and delay, the thing that's going to give it away to a viewer that the recording person didn't know what they were doing is this because of, because of the pop that will tell everybody you had no idea what you're doing. So now you do, you have no excuse not to use a pop filter. Okay. So pop filter is on and uh, you'll notice that because I was not using the pop filter, 
um, the air in my breath actually clipped the microphone capsule. So this little clipping notification came on. If this ever comes on during your recordings, you stop what you're doing and you turn the input of your microphone down. Okay, so I want to get um, my ideal level that I'm going for here is minus 12. So the reason you want to go set your recording levels at minus 12 dB is because that's where you get the best analog to digital conversion. A lot of people will crank up the gain thinking they want a louder recording, but the way to get it loud is not to record it loud, but process it loud. So what we're going to do is we're going to process it. I'm going to turn, um, we're going to, I'm going to take you step by step through all the, all the things, all the gain staging that will make it louder and brighter and more awesome because it's called the awesome voiceover right there. All right. So we're going to start and we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to take you through the effects right now. We're going to start with this basically is going to be one, two, three, four different effects. And they all have a very specific purpose. And some plugins have a chain that will put this all together, but we're going to do it one by one. So we're going to start with compression. Okay. Um, and I'm talking through my dynamic mic right now. Uh, I have this, I have this not going through my DAW. I'm going to jump in and out to show you what it's doing. If you'd like to join me for more tutorial videos, go to www.twitch.tv slash Elijah Lucian and hit the follow button or subscribe like Durster did. Durster.